This week, we got 15% off on our merch store. Check out number 6 with cheesecom Sixers, hello. Another local Chicago food day. And today's episode is dedicated to Mr. Jeff Ulrich. Yeah. Jeff spun the wheel on our live show, and it landed on a dedicated episode. So this one is all for you, Jeff. If you're okay with it, if other people could watch too, that'd be super beneficial to us. <laughs> uh, today, Sheffield's uh, an epic appetizer day. These are the buffalo chicken rolls. Excited to show, show you guys those. And uh, it's just gonna be a fun day of pub eats, man. It's like a it's like the bar appetizer menu. Is there anything better? So come along. Jeff, this is for you. Thanks for watching. Talk soon. <laughs> All right, Sheffields. All right, Buffalo chicken rolls. They've been acquired. Jump cut. All right, appetizer day. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Open up this box right there, and whoa! Oh, these are different than they've ever been. They do look different. They usually are cut in half. So this is the buffalo chicken roll. It's got smoked chicken, buffalo sauce, cheddar, and Monterey Jack cheese, and a fried wonton. Whoa! And then real quick on this camera because we got it. Look at the uh, wonton, fried to perfection. All right. Buffalo chicken rolls. Cheers. Cheers. Do you dip first or you just bite? Sorry, I think I missed you. I'm gonna go naked first. Okay. I think I like them not cut in half. I love this. They're like less messy. I absolutely love this. This is so good. They're very good. That breading is not too much. Perfect amount. Super crispy. And then that buffalo mixing with the cheese, like that's just fantastic. I think I might go a ranch dip. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Buffalo's the truth. Mm -hmm. Probably just more of what's in this. <laughs> They're just so crispy. They are. Sheffield's Beer Garden, probably one of the outdoor like beer bars that I've been to the most. Oh, really? Got to be in like the top five of places that I used to frequent so often. It was uh, we were sponsored by them for softball one season, mm. so we went there every single like Wednesday for three months. That's fun. You want to split this other one? Mm-hmm. That's perfect. They couldn't have done this better. Yeah, they really figured it out. All right, I'm gonna try with the buffalo. I think I like it best with the ranch. Yeah, I gotta do that. I haven't tried that yet. Is this this one? Mm-hmm. Our good friend of, of the show. Oh, you guys know him. The the Bruin Review song guy. When I'm on Cheers. the internet, Cheers. I'm watching Bruin Review. The guy who made Bruin Review song met his wife at Sheffield's. He came in town to visit. We all went to Sheffield's, met his wife, fell in love because he's super charming and has an angelic voice. Yeah. And then moved to Chicago for it. That's amazing. It's a love story I can get behind. And they probably had a couple of these. That's probably helped <laughs> catapult their relationship. Like, unofficially, but maybe officially, like, get these and you could find love that day. That's a fact. Could happen. Might not, but it could. Man, I just can't get over how crispy they are. They're absolutely perfect. Buffalo rolls are one of my favorite appetizers. I get them anytime. Couldn't agree more. There. Couldn't agree more. Also, guys, tonight, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific, we're going on Zoom, firing it up, sending out the link to all our $10 and up patrons. So if you want to join that and you're $10 and up, on Patreon right now, there's a Zoom link for tonight. If you want to sign up, even hang out with us for tonight and then maybe another month or two, you don't have to do too long, you can sign up right now and hang out tonight. Yeah, they're super fun. We usually just kind of like have a bunch of beers, hang mm -hmm. out. There's usually a decent amount of people on there. We mm -hmm. kind of just talk and, you know, it's just a general mm -hmm. Zoom hangout. It's amazing. It's so different than our like lives where we can't see you guys. So it's all the real ones. Yeah, right. Out. It's the Zoom call mm -hmm. is so much more personable and stuff. And if you use Zoom for work and you have kind of a bad association with it because you're so sick of it, we're going to change your mind. That's right. It's going to become one of your favorite things, at least for, you know, an hour once a month. We can brighten up your Zoom outlook. I could not get over how good those were. I can definitely see in the future, once we do enough things, a potential blog post of Chicago's best appetizers. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Those gotta be on there. <laughs> yeah. Also, while you're watching this video, drop any appetizer favorites. Even if you're not from Chicago, like where do you like, what do you get and where do you go? And the people in Chicago, what are the best apps that we need to grab? Very interested to see what people's favorite go-to appetizers, because there's so many. You got potato so, skins, yep. you got chicken wings, you got nachos, mm -hmm. you got fries, which include obviously chili cheese fries or just cheese fries. Mm -hmm. You got tater tots, which jalapeno also include poppers. jalapeno poppers. Mm -hmm. You got 
the buffalo uh, egg rolls. Mm -hmm. You got the dumbest one of all time, soft the pretzel. soft pretzel. Yeah. There's so I many endorse the soft pretzel. Oh, He's very anti soft very pretzel. Very anti in it. Mm -hmm. Just give me the cheese. I know. I like when sometimes they'll throw mini sliders in there. Mini sliders? Mm -hmm. Those are great, man. Or like little mini chicken uh, sliders. Like mm -hmm. I've seen that before. I mean, the possibilities. Cheese curds. Cheese curds. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm super excited to hear what your guys' favorites mm -hmm. are. If you, don't, if you don't comment that, then I'm going to like you less than the people who do. Right. So. Oh, also. Like this video, right? Absolutely. Is this too much at once? I don't know, but like it's just a lot of they could they could like it and before they scroll, then they start, you know what I mean? It's kinda like a hit the like, scroll down, type your thing. Look, you're this is a long video. You know what I mean? This is a long food review, so you got time. Um, all right, well before we go ahead and rate the buffalo chicken rolls with that smoked chicken, let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a merch store. It's got all types of amazing goodies on there. Just head on over to number 6 You can grab the pocket shirt, you can grab the jump cut shirt. We've got also um, a lot of like little side items like mm. Beer bottle openers, koozies, things like that, and obviously the number one seller, number six with cheese history, the number six with cheese hot sauce. We've got the hotter version and the regular version. And anybody who buys anything off our website is gonna get a shout out. You buy more than one item, you jump to the front of the line. And if you get our hot sauce subscription, you jump to the front of the front of the line. And we're gonna do two people. This will have us all caught up on hot sauce subscriptions. So if you do a hot sauce subscription after this video, you will be the next merch wow. shout out set. You'll have a shout out and you save money? Wow. One, two, punch. Merch shout out number one goes to Hunter Hart. Woohoo! Hunter got the bundle, so he gets the hot and the spicy delivered to his door in Suncook, What's New the Hampshire. What's the hot and the spicy one? Mm, the mild and the spicy. <laughs> they're two different flavors. Well, they're just two different heats. Uh, so anyways, Hunter Hart, great name. Thank you. And merch shout out number two goes to Mr. Steven West. Uh, also got the bundle pack. That's the OG Sixer sauce and then the hotter version of that and we sent that out to Hammond, Indiana Where mm. I used to have a uh, I don't know if you work in construction. Maybe you work together if you've ever worked on an oil site <laughs> I, Yeah, I was in charge of one one time and uh, he actually lives on I'm not gonna give the full address But he lives on Sheffield. How about that? Oh, that is ironic as they Sheffield, say Sheffield Wow, get irony out. Stephen West. Am I right? Uh, thank you guys so much. Seriously. Alrighty moment of truth Time to rate the buffalo chicken rolls uh, out of five Rolls Royces. Mm. How many Rolls Royces do you give the $10 order of three big old fat buffalo chicken rolls with the dipping sauce as Corey? Uh, I, my, the thing that really stuck out to me is how crispy it was. I know. It's so perfectly amount of just, it has the perfect amount of crispiness. I love it, I love the flavor. Uh, I, I, eating through it though, I do think I like them better when they're cut in half because I think they pour more sauces on top of it. Okay. I think it's a little juicier and that might just be getting getting them to go. Yeah, at the restaurants are really different. Every yeah. time I've got them at the restaurant, it's cut in half, but then you probably put those in half. I bet they're rollable. They're, they're, they're oh, cylindrical. Yeah. yeah. Put them in half, boom, roll over. Now you got a ruined, uh, a ruined product and a pissed off fan of the, <laughs> the Sheffield. So, um, very, very good though. I'm gonna give it a solid, I'm gonna give it a 4.4. Yeah, man, those are great. Um, they are so different when they're to go. You're right. Like, but that 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 wonton breading, like all things should be breaded in wonton. Mm -hmm. Just if you're kind of like if there's an appetizer you like that could be a little bit better, it's probably because it needs that crispy wonton breading. I love I curds know. on wonton. Oh, can you imagine like a little Asian kick to that? Man, I would be I all that. about that. Um, the whole time I was thinking 4.5. Wow, look at that. Uh, those are those are a must if you go to Sheffield's. Their whole menu is just like such comfort food. It's got some really good food. Mm -hmm. I haven't had much else other than that because I usually am just there getting beers and getting hammered. Right. But I've heard that their other food is fantastic. Their burgers are good. Their barbecue, I heard, was mm -hmm. like freaking mm -hmm. unbelievable. I think I've had like a pulled pork or a brisket sandwich from there. I, that's a spot where I tend to get something different every single time, but that was always a no-brainer shareable. No-brainer. Um, once again, guys, excited to chat appetizers here today on Wednesday. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video, another local spot. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the love. Go buy the merch. See you tonight on Patreon's Zoom. Goodbye.